Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, flipping and ripping it, or um, mildly con condescending to it Well, I'm playing that uh, at least it tried. So this is Master of Kung Fu. This is an actual, this is a cool thing that SJW Marvel, Axel Alonzo Marvel did, in that they did, it looks like five different books, I can't tell which five they are, but um, they're just one-shots, but they're not billed as one-shots. They do the Marvel Legacy thing where they take the original numbering. They just uh, make it be the next issue. Now, with um, when they did this with Silver Sable, at the end they basically s <laughs> said, if you want more Silver Sable, um, just let us know. This one doesn't do this. Like This one know it's, knows it sucks. Um, but anyway, this is Master of, of uh, Kung Fu. And uh, it's written by CM Punk, who is a wrestler. I don't know for what league. I don't really know wrestling. I just I just remember seeing his name and his face. A lot of uh, comic a lot of comic fans are into wrestling. Weirdly enough, a lot of huge SJWs are into wrestling. It's very very strange. So we start off here, and uh, just be warned, <laughs> you are in for some LOL so random garbage tier millennial pseudo humor. I'm pretty sure CM Punk is probably late 30s, uh, so he's, I think he's kind of simulating having the sense of humor, but we'll get into that. First of all, the uh, art by some guy, uh, Dalibor Talajic. Hey, I think that's my landlord. <laughs> um, uh, uh, it's really, really good. It's not the artist. Art, the cover artist kind of sucks, oh, so there's a bunch of them. But, um... It's a really stupid story about. Oh, gee, I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's both. They're trying. They decided that uh, to do a humor <laughs> take on it. So uh, Shang Chi uh, kind of sucks. He's a Bruce Lee ripoff without any of Bruce Lee's savoir faire, you know, uh, charm. So he's literally a bad Bruce Lee ripoff. He has this stupid <laughs> Lululemon outfit that means absolutely nothing. I guess the arrows are to point down to his foot, which is going to kick you. And then um, the w bigger, wider arrow is going to point down to his super tiny crotch, which is going to amuse you. I don't know. What the, what is the point of this? He's got power bands. What is he, Marvel? I don't know. This whole thing is stupid. Um, and then he's got a monkey because... Okay, when you're in the LOL so random humor style, like having a monkey buddy is just, it basically just goes with the territory. By the way, Nurkish, you need to come out of the Tim and Eric DVR recording cave you've fallen into. <laughs> um, but anyway, so it starts off and uh, Shang Chi and his monkey friend are doing in a push up contest. And then there's some white bitch, am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Am I right? What? On TV, and they're doing, hey, newscasters, they talk, what's the deal with airplane food? Seriously, guys. Um, so there's a octopus who's disappeared, but ha, 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 the octopus is, oh, wait, I think that's supposed to be a picture. I'm stupid. Um, uh, but anyway, so uh, because um, one of the things that SJWs love is, is acting childlike, um, so then... Shang Chi's like, done with our push-up contest. Now it's time to go out for Icy Queen. Um, so then they get there and they get attacked by ninjas. By the way, I have no respect for the professionalism of this ice cream vendor. Look at that. Honestly, that's a fight right there, dude. You what the hell? This looks like some really badly drawn, like, paintbrush. Okay, so uh, anyway... We get some uh, awesome karate action, and hee <laughs> hee, there's the monkey and ice queens. Um, so then they get away, and then they chase him, and he falls into a trap. And then we get we start to really get the LOL so random humor. So he falls into a trap, and someone says, Have a nice trip, Shang-Chi. See you next fall. Ugh, Brad, come on. We agreed he wouldn't say that. A ninja named Brad? Um, did we just achieve humor light speed? 
Uh, so uh, anyway, God, these advertisements are so bad. So then they get down to the uh, the funny henchman uh, dialogue, and uh, this is where I gotta do a little to. It's hard to do a to when your other hand is uh, holding the phone, but this is the bottom uh, t of the to, and this is the top. So just like doing like self to. Um, CM Punk. So. Mim Hedrum just destroyed this comic, which I was not even aware existed. Um, I got confused when I saw the cover. Since Marvel Legacy is such a poorly thought out event, they have covers, and then the interior is for a different character. I can't explain how stupid that is, but it's that stupid. Like, they'll have a Spider-Man cover for um, America Chavez, but Spider-Man's not in that issue. They're idiots. Um, but uh, <laughs> I just got so angry, I completely lost my train of thought. Anyway, but one of the things when I was reading this is that Mim was doing this like this humor was horrible. The thing is, it wasn't horrible. It got a lot of the actions of humor correctly. The best analogy I can, I can give is this. You see how I put the sock on my foot? What if when I was putting my sock on my foot, I grabbed a sock. I had my foot here, my bare foot. I had a sock. And then I went like this. I did all the right actions for putting on a sock on a foot, but I was just a couple of inches to the left, so it did. It just was. In, in, it was an error. Um, the problem with CM Punk is a problem with a lot of people who aren't funny. Is that they're normal looking or good looking or they're strong or they're beautiful. Um, uh, humor is a defense mechanism, but it's also a way for ugly or not very attractive people to get attention. Um, there's also just basic human psychology. People defer to handsome people, beautiful people, strong people, rich people. Um, so uh, a lot of times you'll meet someone who's rich or pretty or handsome or a combination or strong. And they will have a sense of humor. And people will laugh as if they're much funnier than they are. Now some of it it's like, you know, if they're like a bully, get on their strong side. But it's just a normal human thing. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence has a terrible sense of humor. People laugh at her stuff all the time because she's pretty-ish. I feel like she's going to bubble up into like some Mama June type in her 40s, but I don't know. So, it's just, um, so yeah, so uh, CM Punk, it's like, uh, you're there. You just need to be a little wimpier or a little uglier. And uh, you would have been like an okay-ish funny guy. That's why like when Nurkish tries to roast me and he says I'm not funny... In my mind, I just hear him saying, you're better looking than me. <laughs> so, um, then uh, this is the dialogue. He's like, um, he creeps me out. I get what he's trying to do. Actually, okay, I have no idea what he's trying to do. He creeps me out. Who, Mel? I've seen worse. At least he's not. Wait, who is Mel? Dr. Prassus. You didn't think his first name was Doctor, did you? I swear, you rookies. Mel? Dr. Mel Prassus? That's who we are working for? Are you kidding me? Mel Prassus. Mel Practice. The evil genius we are working for has a name that sounds like... Whoa, whoa, let me stop you right there, buddy. You think he's evil? He's... Oh, yeah, it just goes on there. Like... Okay, so then Dr. Malpractice comes up and uh, he's an evil ninja doctor and he's got a caduce. Whatever, nothing matters. Um, so then we find out that, um, uh, oh, actually this is very stylish art. I like it. Um, actually, no, I don't like it. I respect it. Like, I don't want to draw like this and I would not seek out a book that was drawn like this. But I can say this guy's a real artist. Um, so anyway, it was all a twick on a twick. Bruce Leroy actually knew they were going to kidnap him, so he fell into their trap because there was rats who knew Kung Fu and the animals were getting kidnapped. Um, and he made a monkey friend. And then they were going to put uh, his brain in the octopus because... Seriously, this is the best episode of Totally Spies I've ever seen. This is amazing. By the way, you know what I like more than Totally Spies? Which I used to watch with my son when he was young. was freaking Codename Kids Next Door. That show was dope. Uh, so, um, yeah, so more, I'll just read more of this terrible humor. That's right, the culmination of my life's work. 
Striving tirelessly for years to develop an army of kung fu animals pays off tonight. Surely this will get me back into the hand after that little Christmas party snafu. So this monkey's face that's just like embarrassed, mild horror, that's that's my reaction. This is my reaction to that joke. The monkey's like, bro, you're not funny, bro. Um, so then, God, more dialogue. You can lead a, a horse to kung fu, but you can't make him kick. That's not just a funny saying. I want a kung fu ho- Oh my God, did Mags write this? This is totally Mags' sense of humor. Um... So then uh, they escape because the monk pulls the hood over the man. And I gotta skip a couple. Whatever. So everything's stupid. Uh, so, um. You're out of ninjas and time, Prassus. And then he lets. He lets the. He lets the octopus go because uh, animals are our friends. So, um. I'm gonna do something that's much worse than anything I've ever done to, to a comic. I'm not going to loosen it up in water and flush it down the toilet. I'm not going to rip it. I'm not going to throw it. I'm not going <coughs> to put it by a creepy clown van. I'm not going to put it under my uh, rug. I'm just going to say, there, there. You tried. You little scrapper. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to go quietly throw this away after the video is done. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone. Give it to the Super Chat and the Patreon. You're funding original content, Iron Sights. Um, which I'm thinking, I got some ideas. I'm thinking of, uh, uh, oh, I'm not going to tell my ideas. But uh, I'm <laughs> coming up with some cool things to do with Iron Sights. And I'll have a bunch more videos later. To oh, yeah, I did. I went to the freaking comic shop. Let me go on. I'm just gonna show it. This video is a little short. <laughs> so, um, I went to Midtown Comics, which is actually in Midtown. And, uh, so in a live stream, people were saying, you need to buy, uh, Batman Annual 2. And I was like, yeah, I'll definitely buy it. And then I, I didn't, <laughs> I forgot that I bought it. I know it says annual in big giant letters here, but, um, I just knew that this is the one, because, you know, uh, I'm friends on social media with, like, Mitch Breitweiser and um, uh, Lee Weeks, so uh, Elizabeth Breitweiser does the color and Lee Weeks does the art, so I'm so excited for this. And John Wick, it's my boy, picked the cover with the Dennis uh, Cowan uh, art, very excited about this. And then, uh, Moon Knight, Jason Burroughs. This is, that, that last uh, issue was really good, so I'm excited about this one. And then, come on now, Obese Female Samoan G.I. Joe. You know I'm going to keep this forever. This is, this is my trophy of getting Aubrey Citizen's head. Because despite what IDW says, we got him taken off that book. We did. The people. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll have more videos up later tonight.